You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and we have an annual event that we have covered since before we started this show, Greater Brockton. Uh, we have Elizabeth Creedon, now Joyce, yes. but Creedon is the name we all know you yes, by. Yes, that is. Um, we are coming up on the fifth annual Mark Creedon Run Memorial Run and Walk. Yeah, I can hardly believe it. Um, it's our fifth annual, um, but we actually had this event the first year that Mark passed away, so I can't believe it's been four years since we've been without him. Um, and I can't believe that, but I also can't believe how much this event has grown and become such an establishment within our family of a special way that we celebrate Mark every year. Well, um, I know when the Credens do anything, they do it well. Okay, you got a big family. <laughs> we do, we do. And Lots of relatives. And every part of that family is helping making this a uh, wonderful event every year. And we will, we will be there, but we are drumming up support right now for people to go yes. and participate and register. So let's do the, 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 the who, what, when, where, why, how. Got it. The date. The date. It, this is on Saturday, um, April 4th at 10 a.m. at DW Field Park. Um, there are two options. There's a walk and a run. It's a 2.2-mile walk and a 3.5-mile run. Um, the run has become more and more competitive each year. We have lots of runners coming from all over Massachusetts. It is a professionally timed event. Um, and uh, registration opens up at 8 a.m. on April 4th. You can also register, register beforehand online at um, markcredenmemorialrace.org. Okay, and Creden is C-R-E-E-D-O-N. Right? Yep, that's okay. correct. Mark Creden, say it again. Mark Creden Memorial Race org. Okay. And registration is $25. And um, for students under 10, it is free. And for um, uh, Spelman students, which is where our scholarship goes to support, um, registration is $10 with a student ID. Ah, $10. And I saw a note that Jay slipped me before that at Trinity Catholic. We also have a scholarship at Trinity Catholic we give out each year. Um, and so we have quite a few students coming from there as well, many of, of whom fall under that 10 age mark, but they would also be at the student rate of $10. There you go. So that's good. And uh, on here, and I will hold it up. Uh, they always love when I do this kind of stuff, but there's a uh, we'll probably put this up and get a closer up shot of it, but there's a nice smiling picture of Mark there. There is. There okay. is. My charming brother. That was actually after a road race in New York. He had just completed a five-mile road race in New York, so okay. we thought it was a good running picture. It is, and down the bottom it has a quote from him, sprint to the finish. That was Mark. Um, every time we would go running together, he always would sprint the end. Um, uh, not my preference because I would rather just kind of like leisurely make my way back into the run. Um, but he, at the very end, always wanted to sprint across that finish line. That's how he took on life. That's what he wanted to do. He was going to push it to the very end. And um, he would make all of us sprint to the finish. There you go. And uh, it's a familiar part of DW Field Park because... Uh, they have the kids' road races all they the do. time on the weekend. And I, is, is, I don't Dave know, is Gorman Dave Gorman is still, involved? Oh, okay. yeah, he's still involved with us. Absolutely. He's up there with us first thing in the morning getting things set up. Um, and the loop is very familiar. The 2.2-mile walk is the same loop as the kids' road races. And the 3.5-mile walk is the race that they do on every Wednesday night during the springtime. Um, it's just that full loop going into Avon. Right. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful park. It looks great even with the snow. Well, it's look, it still looks fantastic, and it is ready for runners. It's ready for walkers. Probably the good news is there's <laughs> probably not as many potholes in the park as there are in the rest of the city or around. There are not. We were really worried about it because we were going to go and put some cones out and whatnot, and there, it is not as bad. So you're up here checking it out ahead We of are time. assessing. We're making sure we're ready to go so that that spring morning, we're going to be there. Okay, now we had once... April 1st, one year, I forget what year it was, we had an April Fool's snowstorm. What happens, just out of curiosity, this being a very unusual sure. year, I know it's rain or shine. It is rain or shine, and runners and walkers come out rain or shine. We are all athletes, um, and we will be there, and um, we, it will be plowed. There will be space for us. It will be to safely get around the park, okay. um, and it will go on, and okay. the party will go on. And there's a party afterwards at Doyle's, the new Sylines location. So. You okay. know, we just we just keep going through. So you're going to make sure that the sun shines brightly that day. I've already put in a request to my oldest brother that he could get some good weather on the docket for us. 
Okay. Um, now, if I remember right, on the website, there were like all sorts of pictures from previous years and everything else. So you can see yep. smiling faces and yes. people are very happy to participate. Absolutely. It's such a fun event. I look forward to it every year. I know a lot of people I talk to say that this is the race that they look forward to as being kind of like the opening to the spring season. We've been locked up all winter. We've been certainly this winter more than most. And it's the first time you can really get out with the kids, strollers, even in the bundle mees, and um, get out there and have fun outside with your family. Um, and our website has actually been recently redesigned, so I really encourage everyone to get on there and check it out. Lots of pictures from our races from the past five years. Um, and there's also videos um, from previous races, the start of our race. Um, uh, and we also have up there all of our um, scholarship recipients. I'm very proud to say that in the last four years, we've awarded over $55,000 mm. in scholarship funds to students at Cardinal Spelman High School, Trinity Catholic. Um, we are funding um, a scholarship currently at UMass Dartmouth that we hope to start giving out in this calendar year, as well as our community organizations, the Kid Road Races and the YMCA. There you go. It couldn't be better than that. So tell me, besides the fact that it's your brother, why is this so special to you um, and your family? I think... I mean, I think that community events that promote health are always great things to get behind with your whole family. Um, we're expecting a child in June, and as someone who's starting a new family, you want to have events that you can go to and show them this is such a wonderful way to live. These are good things for you, good things for your body, good things for your community, and everything that's going on with this race is that. Um, and obviously, it being a part of my brother's legacy makes it that much more special to me. Um, but it's really something that's helping everyone who's a part of it. Does it make you feel good in, in the in kind of in the wake of a, a loss? You've turned, you made lemonade out of lemons. I think it was um, our it was our um, responsibility. It was our hope that Mark could continue on, not just as a distant memory, but as something that continued to grow with us. And that's what he's been allowed to do in this scholarship. It's his legacy. And it gets more and more amazing every year, and it surprises us. I mean, when we, we send out notices to people saying, and we, we broke records last year, and it's, it's everyone in our community that's making that so special, um, and that warms our hearts because it's all about Mark. I couldn't, I couldn't say it better than you. And we're happy to promote it. We're happy to be Thank there. You. And let me tell you something, $55,000 <laughs> is very impressive in a very short period of time. I Absolutely. think that just shows the testament of your hard work and, and what your family has always done. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. So just to recap, it, it, the fifth annual Mark Creed Memorial Run and Walk is April 4th on a Saturday, 10 o'clock start, 8 o'clock registration at DW Field Park. There's two options. 2.2 mile walk or 3.5 mile run. It's a very small entry fee of $25. This, it goes to scholarships. If you're under 10, it's free. Scholarships at Cardinal Spellman and Trinity Catholic. So um, be there or be square. <laughs> um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.